Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I will explain you about nested if else conditions. So in my previous session, I have already covered if else, if condition, and elif condition. But when we are working with n number of conditions, which is definitely required to have multiple if else conditions simultaneously. Just like take an example of the student marks on different subjects. If we want to compare the value from two different classes, definitely we will need multiple condition to be entered. So when we are entering multiple condition, that time we need to use multiple if else condition. So when we are using the multiple if if else condition, that time we are calling as a nested if else condition. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon. Let's begin with nested if else contained. So when there is an if statement or if else or if else else is present inside another if statement, we are calling as a nesting of control statement or nested if else condition. So whenever we are working with nested if else condition, it's always recommended to have multiple statement or multiple condition to be executed. So just like take an example of one data which contain a negative and positive value and when we are entering the negative and positive value, we need to compare these results. So let me provide you with example and I will show you how we can compare that. So I am creating here, take an input from the user. So once command will run, it will ask to enter the data or to input. So we are declaring one variable that is n equal to int because we are requesting in the easier value. Then input and inside the input just enter the number. So when we will enter this, it will ask with the user to enter the value. Then we are taking here as if and inside the if we are providing actual value that is if n is greater than 0 then it will print print this is positive number positive number and next condition I am going to provide you here as the else print I am copying and pasting the value here so this is negative number okay. let me run this and check the result so it will ask the user to enter the value. Let me enter here as a 2, 3, then its value is 23. Means it's a positive number. Let me enter here a next value that is negative minus 23, then it will enter as a negative number. But what happened when we are entering some other value or some other data? And to check the nested if. So that time I am declaring here as a another if inside the if and provide the value if minus n minus 99 less than or equal to n then what happened? So, print here as a
this is two digit negative number oh let me run this enter minus 89 so this is negative number this is two digit negative number let me enter some other value that is 89 that is positive you can see here this is positive number so when the value is less than minus 999 definitely it will print a two statement one is negative and other is two digit negative number let me increase the value here and run the code again so let's enter minus 888 and you can see here because we have provided the statement that is two digit now i'm changing and running the code again minus 888 let me enter first it minus 88 then c so this is negative number this is three digit negative number is the statement let me correct it to this minus 88 you can see here this is negative number but when i am printing second value that is minus 1000 enter so this is three digit negative number because the number is greater than value so by this way we can compare two objects let's recap this so we have started with definitions of nested if else condition we had a look on two numbers one is printing positive and other is printing negative when asked with the user to enter the value once the user is entering any value based on the entered value we are providing the result so by this way we can use if else if condition that is nested if else if condition hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon thank you for watching